This week is Spirit Week, where students of all grade levels in different themes each day, as well as different activities, including games during lunch period, float making, the booster parade, pep rally, and of course, the homecoming dance. This week, we asked student government and teachers involved in preparing this event for week about the effort and work that goes into preparing it for everyone. I, I got involved with Student Spirit probably about 10, 12 years ago, helping with counting votes, and over the time, I've become a class advisor. This is my 10th year as a class advisor. Um, I generally think that the best way for things to get done is, is to poke the kids and have them do all the work. Most of the time that we spend planning Booster Week goes into decorations, so float decorations, window decorations, decorations for the dance itself. And other than that, like there's a lot of talking with the other grades about what they're doing and different plans. The majority of our materials are donated by parents, which we are really, really appreciative of. Um, and so we buy some stuff using like the money we've raised from other things, but most of it is donations, which are wonderful. There is sort of a um, pass it on kind of mentality. When you start your senior year, you give a thousand dollars to the current eighth graders, so that when they come up and they're ninth graders, they start with a thousand dollars of like seed money, so they can start with fundraisers or things like that. Students can volunteer in a lot of ways, like helping with decorations. Um, it's also super helpful in general just to participate in the spirits, which is usually super simple, but that helps out a lot. Um, but like talking to the people in your grade on government, like most of the time they'll have something you can help out with, whether it's decoration, whether it's sharing information with other people, participating in various games, there's usually always something you can help with. I think having spirit in general is great. Uh, if you're a part of a team, you dress up for spirit, whatever it is, um, all, all year long. And this is an opportunity for everyone to get involved. You get to see those rock and band kids with the drum line, you get to see all the different activities and it gives an opportunity for everyone to be part of one school. The biggest way that the student body can show their appreciation for their government and all the work that's gone into Booster Week is by participating. So participating in spirits, participating in pep rally games, participating in lunch games, um, and just having fun and showing that they enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Make sure to come support the Booster Parade and football game happening tonight and get ready for the homecoming dance happening tomorrow.